I'm Latina. I'm Latina. All right, all right. Let's now this one. As this, as your local Latino representative, I'm going to guess who is the secret Latino, and who are the real ones. I'm Latina. I'm Latina. I'm Latino. I'm Latino. I'm Latina. I'm Latina. I'm Afro Latina. You'd be surprised how many shades of color we all come in. Just letting you know. I got family members that that look black. I got family members that look white. We come in all shades of colors. All right. Like you'd be surprised. Hola, hola. <laughs> Me llamo Carla Alicia. Y hoy estamos representando Panama. I'm a behavioral technician full time, and I'm also a part time student. I'm Dominique. I'm from Argentina. I came over to the United States to study, and I'm a student right now. Yo me llamo Andy de Lourdes. Soy dominicana y soy productora. My name is Emilio. I'm a Mexican, and I'm currently in grad school. I'm Delta Brasileiro, which means I'm Brazilian with German ancestry. I'm originally from Sao Paulo, but I'm living in the U.S. since I was about six, and I'm a fact checker. I am Eduardo Josue Morales Alvarez. I'm from Honduras. I work construction and I'm currently studying HVAC. Oh, yes. He does look like a, a construction worker. Like, I can already see like a chain on his belt in this video. He's already wearing a chain. Like, look, he's already got that chain and he's got his stuff hanging from his. Well, you don't see on the camera. Hold on. Let me, let me just move my camera real quick. Look, he's already got that chain on his belt. He's got his stuff hanging from his, from his waist. I know that that man works in construction. I student, I go to Cal State Northridge for business law. E if I is, I'm going to say it in English because like you guys are not understanding what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. I was like, what? Yeah, I, I moved when I was 11 to the US. Okay. I could tell you were Brazilian, but you're flip flops. Stop, no, I, I, I stop. stop. When I was like, I bet she's Brazilian. Sure. Flip flops are not Brazilian. I immediately like thought Elise was Brazilian. Flip flops gave Brazilian just her overall vibe. Her Portuguese is also perfect. So was yeah. everyone born in their country or? I know I was born here. So I'm gonna just put that out there right now. Okay. I was born in Brazil. Okay. I was born in New I'm like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I was born here, but if they ever try to investigate me and my like be like, are oh, you really Salvadorian? I'm gonna be like, listen, my my dad is from this department and my mom is from this department. And if, if you guys don't know El Salvador, like you know how the United States has states? El Salvador doesn't have states. It has departments. El Salvador is made up of 14 departments. I know which departments my uh, my parents are from. So like already, I'm just like, I'm like, they're from there and they're from here. That's it. I'm, I'm That be it. New York. I was born in the Bay Area, but I did live in Mexico growing up. Uh, what part of Mexico? Mexico City. What part of Mexico City? Iztapalapa. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in Argentina my whole life. Wait, did you say a little Spanish in the beginning or no? No, pero puedo hablar en castellano. Sí. Te vas a sentar gente. Brazil, Argentina. What's your father? ¿Qué, qué le gusta a tu papá comer? Marcilla. Mm -hmm. The blood sausages. Mm -hmm. People here hate it, but they're really good. A drink that I really like is called chicheme, which is kind of like horchata. We eat empanadas, which is basically like a beef patty, that and then arroz. Empanadas are amazing. Empanadas are so good. Con gandules, you know, that's rice mm. and beans, stuff like that. Yeah, uh, me, I like plátano. I'm Dominican. Oh, there you go. Plátanos, yo, I have, a, I have a friend who, who also streams on Twitch. Um, yeah, oh, bro, we always make jokes about platanos when we were in school. We would be like, yeah, he's always got platanos in his house. He's ready to cook up some platanos. I like uh, beans mostly. My mom makes them frijoladas. If you don't know what frijoladas oh, yeah, is, it's like enchiladas, pero con frijoles, you know? Stroganoff is like stroganoff. You have like beef with like a cream sauce and it's really good. So good. But with like fried potatoes and rice, and that's like something my mom makes really well. I like pastel, which is kind of similar to an empanada, but it's kind of a little different because in Brazil, I don't know, the taste is different and the crust is a little thicker. Mm -hmm. And then coxinha, you have chicken and then you have potatoes like inside. Potato. Yeah, it's kind of like this. It's like oh. a tier. Mm. Uh, brigadeiro is like my favorite dessert. Paulia, she was correct in what she was saying, that, you know, brigadeiro and things like that. But that's also very like surface knowledge and things that probably a tourist or a foreigner would try if they came Interesting. to Brazil. Interesting. Sopa de caramel is a very typical dish uh, down in Honduras. We also do a lot of uh, things with bananas and plantains, for instance, tostones and tamales, uh, fried bean. With Stuffed tamales. Do a couple hundreds of them, and we took them for eight hours. Yep. Is it for holidays, or is it just kind of like whatever? Mostly during the holidays. Okay. Where you say you were from? Honduras. What do you guys think is like a struggle being Latina? I feel like literally nobody believes me that I'm Latina. I don't look the stereotypical version yeah. of Latina. Here, okay. I'm almost like you're not Latina. Like, but you were born here, right? I'm like, no, I was born in Brazil. Like. I used to have a really thick accent, like I lost it because I've been living here for 10 years, but I always have to prove it and I feel like it's like kind of discrediting me as a Brazilian Latina. Polina, 
walked in and she has this Brazilian shirt. So I think that she might be the mole. Just uh, here's a piece of advice. If you ever go on these on these shows and you're the mole, don't wear an outfit like that that says, hey, I'm one of you guys. Don't, don't, because that, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. It's because she's trying so hard to show us that she has this Latina personality. Growing up, like, I felt like I was close to the little Latina kids, but, like, I don't speak Spanish, so I couldn't, mm -hmm. like, when I first got here, I couldn't really, like, talk to y'all. Yeah. And then, like, with the other kids, especially other white kids, like, they're like, you talk for me, so we don't want to <laughs> And I'm just like, I don't know, I feel like growing up, that was, like, really hard to be kind of, like, in limbo like that. Like, no one really claims you. Mm -hmm. People usually look at me and they'll say, like, oh, like, are you black? Or when they hear me speak Spanish, it's like, oh, are you Mexican? Oh, did you learn it in school? And I feel like one thing that I really struggle with is proving myself as a Latina. And then on the counter end of that, you see people that are, like, Afro-Latina, and they'll be like, oh, I'm not black, I'm not black. Mm -hmm. but but the reason why they say that is because for most part, when people refer to you as being black, they refer to it as being African-American. And we're also taught that black is bad. So a lot yeah. of people rather deny the afro Latinidad. Mm -hmm. A lot of the stuff that I do, I represent a lot of black and brown content. You know, I'm okay. a producer, mm -hmm. so I make a lot of, uh, my, my, to me, my work is to show that we do speak Spanish, yes. that we do exist. Most people, mm -hmm. especially Americans, see Latinos as just like mixed brown and like brown, like mm -hmm. medium yeah. skin. So mm -hmm. to be black or white and yeah. be Latino is just like, people are like, oh, what? what? For me, my struggle with, with being Latino is like checking off the box on like any kind of document that you mm -hmm. sign or like, yeah. and for me, it's like it kind of erases our, our indigenous ancestry too. So oh, yes. that's a struggle for me is to, yes. you know, to recognize that, that part of my heritage as well. I agree because I am half indigenous, so I never know what to check off on the box I'm either and then when you want to check off black it'll say black not Hispanic and it's like okay mm -hmm. uh, what are we gonna pick <laughs> what's the uh, national hero for you guys as uh, countries for me for instance it will be the uh, the worship of the Lenca tribe uh, Lempira which is who we print our currency for. Like. San Martin oh, awesome. de los Andes. He's like the general that went through the Andes to like free all of the Latin American countries, um, including Argentina. I feel like people get really passionate about Santos Dumont, which he was actually the first person to fly an airplane. If you think it was the Wright brothers or something, that's not true. Santos Dumont, he was the first person to do it like on video with actual proof. And the Wright brothers were just like, hearsay basically but you know that's what the whole world learns especially americans i think that's the one thing that brazilians are very passionate about i think for us in mexico is emiliano zapata if you don't know zapata is a revolutionary as well that also fought in the mexican revolution and for us it's like for me personally is a big icon it was whoever planted the first plot then <laughs> 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 that's what i mean we were planted the first platano that's <laughs> That's the hero. <laughs> That's who I think. <laughs> Anita. Like, Anita, she's revolutionary. People are talking US. about history, and you're like, she's... Yeah, I like how she... Now I know she's a fake. Now I feel like she's faking it, because it's like, oh, this revolutionary hero over here, this outlaw, this this inventor. And he's like, yo, this artist that's, that's still alive today, that's the hero. I'm like, come on. Because she not only speaks Portuguese, she speaks Spanish. She, she, she came to America and doing really... Oh, oh shit. Sure. I already know who I want to take out. Pretty sus, if you ask me. The fact that she was a director. I, I know Eduardo's not. I know Eduardo's Latino, bro. My man. It's not the fact that he spoke Spanish really well, but it's the fact my man just got that construction vibe on him. He's got the construction build, and he's got the construction vibes. I'm like, yeah, it's got to be him. It's got to be him. I was assuming. Well, she has work experience on that, so she might be able to fake an accent. I feel like Dominique didn't feel confident at first. When she first started talking, I was like, okay, maybe she's the mole. I voted for Eduardo on the first round. No offense. I feel, I honestly feel really bad about it. Eduardo, I like, as soon as he said the whole history question, I was like, that sounds very rehearsed. So that's why I voted for him. How are you gonna vote my man Eduardo? It's not him. It is not him. Oh, Eduardo, right away, because how you got your name for years and you don't, you said it like, like you were not Latino. So I was like, hold on, hold on. I am Eduardo. I am Eduardo.
I don't I don't hear it bad. I, I had to deal with that my whole life. I cannot roll my R's. I'm pretty weird about that. So I try to avoid saying my name as much. <laughs> Ooh. All right, guys, let me see your best dance moves. This is okay. Latin only. Oh. This is my salsa. You ready? Yeah. I cannot dance to save my life. I'm Latino and I cannot dance to save my freaking life. I have to learn that shit again. So I would have failed this round. Yeah, yeah. And then my Good. bachata. Okay, okay, okay. You see that? Okay. No, no, no. I like dancing with music, but I like a cumbia, you know, it's like. Yeah. Okay, okay. I knew that Carla was. Uh, from Panama. When I was dancing, she was like, do zapateado, and that's like a very Mexican thing uh, that she identified, so like, that convinced me that she was Latina. All right, I'm Dominican, so tu dijiste bachata. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Ooh, sorry. Uh-huh. Okay, yep. There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Samba is like a three steps, like that, I don't have music hey, either, but it it's all about. I'm not. I don't dance though. You, we're reinforcing stereotypes. Can I just take it? Brazilians, especially as white Brazilians, we don't always know how to move. Not all of us dance, but we can tell by the, the hips. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Latinos. <laughs> okay. To be fair, a lot of people can move their hips even if they're Latinos. But you sure. can tell. You can but you can tell. tell. <laughs> I'm gonna do the samba, which is like a okay. 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 And then okay. there's the one that's my favorite. It's the quadradinho. I don't know if you guys know how to just call the square, square with your butt. So you go like. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! <laughs> no! Because we got something similar when we do merengue. Uh -huh. like, oh. Yeah. Oh, I can't do it. I'm alone. Gustavo Lima. Okay, but everybody uh, knows those, to be fair. Like, Anita. So no, let me ask you. Is. Let me ask you. Okay, I'll give you that. Now she's Portuguese. <laughs> Biscoito bolacha. I say biscoito. I say biscoito. She came after me for a little bit, for a couple of stuff, and I was like, that's a little weird. I don't speak Portuguese, so it was hard for me to, you know, distinguish if she was. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what they're trying to say. Like Brazilian thing. You gotta have the, the scar from the vaccine. I got vaccine. vaccinated here. I don't oh, know. I have the scar. Oh, you did? Wait, no, I did. That's why I'm Where is it? Yeah, Look, I, I have, have dual citizenship. Wait, I, got, oh, I have it too. So I don't have a scar because, first of all, I did my vaccinations late in the U.S. My mom is the original anti- Where a BCG vaccine. Bacil Comigura is a vaccine for tuberculosis disease. She's used in many countries, the high prevalence of tuberculosis and meningitis military disease. Yeah, I remember. So, like, this, there's this vaccine scar that I remember seeing, like, lots of people had that like they have that and like my parents i think they have that too i think they have this uh, vaccine as well and like the thing about that vaccine is that like when they put it in you it's burned into your skin so it leaves a scar behind and so like my parents have that vaccine so like i whenever i see that i'm like oh you you came from they were like man you were born from like a different time period and you came to the u.s because you don't see a lot of u.s citizens have those there's usually immigrants that have those hi vaxxer um and I just don't have it. I don't have it. What's something about you guys' culture that you don't like? Because, you know, I think we're all very proud, but when it comes to, like, not everything is... Colorism. I don't like that Dominicans and Haitians don't get along as much as we share a country, mm -hmm. as much as we share an island. The thing about Argentina, I think we're all very passionate people, but to a fault. Because, mm -hmm. like, we always want the extremes. So, for example, for political matters, it's really, really bad. Because if one, if the president or anyone does one thing wrong, immediately the whole country hates them because we're so passionate. And I think that that's just counterproductive. So it's a little bit hard to get things done. I feel like the only downside of Brazil and the reason why I left to come here was the violence. It's like oh, wow. my parents were scared that one day in my life I could just like in the street just get shot for nothing for a cell yeah. phone. People right. in Brazil will literally carry two phones, like a decoy phone for yep. like the bus because people come up in there and rob it. So it's just like... I was mugged by like a 15 year old like when i was like walking it's down the street kids, in, the, yeah. in the middle of the street and the kid was like give me your phone and i was just like we i remember looking like, at him okay. looking at him and being like no and just kept walking oh. it's just like that happens every day i feel like i'm also hyper aware because of that i get scared of doing the simplest things like in brazil i don't stop at stop signs yeah like windows are never down in the yeah. car and mm -hmm. they can just like mm -hmm. snatch it off that's the only downside i love the people i love everything except for that i want to say i love the people too my downside that i had in mind was it's like a much more lighthearted one is that we don't know how to say no 
know. Oh. <laughs> like, literally, someone, like, if they don't know, if you're asking them for directions and they don't know, they'll just tell you some bullshit. Like, they, instead oh. of <laughs> just saying, I don't know. Or, like, if you invite a friend, be like, ah, we need high school with me. Like, come to my barbecue. I'd be like, oh, I have to take my grandma to, like, wrestling practice. And, like, they'll just make up a million excuses yes. before they'll tell you, like, no, I don't want to come. So I feel like I wish we were just more direct. I guess I resonate with a lot of things that you, you, you're all saying. I guess it's toxic masculinity in Mexico specifically, like the machismo is pretty strong and it leads to a lot of things like violence. And uh, myself as like someone that considers themselves anarchist, like I, I think it enc encompasses a lot of these things like colorism, classism, because in Mexico it's, it's not necessarily racism, it's more like, like what you say, it's like colorism. Mm -hmm kind of like a discrimination against uh, yeah. indigenous people yes, by like yes, white passing yes, people like, so like myself. Yeah, um, I agree. So what song in particular do you like dancing at like a quinceanera or like at a wedding Ooh, or something? I have a quinceanera. Okay, so I tell you, Gustavo Lima. Oh my god. I see. Oh, it's 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 I'm like testing her because I, I know she's Brazilian, 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 but I'm like. That song, like, that's the only Brazilian music that has ever gotten outside of like Brazil. Everybody knows I see and that. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, I just have a question. What if. Okay, so th these two girls are claiming to be Portuguese. He's Mexican, she's Dominican, uh, she's Panamanian over here, and this is Argentinian. I feel like okay, this is my this is my gut. I don't think it's the guy. I feel like the guy is truly a Mexican. I I think this woman here. I think she's truly Dominican. I think she's she's Dominican, and I think this woman Panamanian. Like he even points out, like yeah, she, she says something that made me be like yeah, she's Panamanian. I think it's one of these three girls. It's one of these three girls here. But one of them could just be from Portugal. Like they're not just they're not Brazilian. They they could just literally just be from Portugal, and the girl over here, she says she's Argentinian, but she can also just be from Spain. So like I feel like it's one of the three girls, like one of the three tall girls. I don't think the, I don't think the two Afro Latinas and the uh, and the Mexican are are the mole. I think those three are safe. <laughs> What's a really dumb thing that they ask you about in your country? For me, they ask me like speak if we're riding donkeys. Panama Canal. Panama. If you speak Spanish. Yeah. Hey, I actually saw the Panama Canal once. Like my my um school, we we got to go on a trip to Panama in elementary school. We had to like do a huge fundraiser. But we finally got to go see Panama. We got to see the Panama Canal. It was lit. It was, it was cool. It was awesome. Know, Nobody knows know. where Brazil is. You speak Brazilian. Yeah. I've been to the Amazon <laughs> forest. I had a pet Nobody monkey. Lives, everybody oh, wow. in you Brazil know, mostly lives. I have beef with people. Are like, I've been to Mexico, but it's really like a cruise that they went on. They went to like. I've also been to Cancun. I've been to Cancun. I'm going to probably they've been to Punta Cana. That's that's my <laughs> Oh wow. That's your basically. Or they say if you're Brazilian, then why are you white? I get that all the time. All the time. I went to like. I went to like this American thing and I was like super white because it was winter in Argentina and uh -huh. I came here in the summer and at the end of the thing I was really really tan because I tan really easily and she was like oh now I believe that you're from Argentina and I was like why <laughs> you're brown now I was just like no. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. How people forget that Argentina is actually kind of like one of the most whitest countries on the planet like Argentina is filled with a lot of white looking people for a lot of historical reasons. I'm not going to get into it because man, it's it's brutal, but Argentina is like predominantly a white country because of a lot of the historical things that happened there. And like, I'm not going to get into the details. All I got to say, the devil's in the details. That's all. Are you telling me that right now? It was insane. They're Argentinian. They're, they're like, actually, they don't look anything like me. They're blonde and blue-eyed because um, my dad is blonde and blue-eyed. My mama has black That's hair so and brown eyes. <laughs> It's Wait, people talk about Argentina and the blue eyes. And the okay, like, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, in <laughs> Brazil too. Brazil too. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> you seem too nervous and you answer too quickly. I know she's mm -hmm. shaking her leg over there a lot. I'm, Girl, I I'm sorry, I don't know if you have like, a ticket. I have she's a very deep man. Energy. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. When did you get your ears pierced? Oh, my ears? <laughs> yeah, since I was young. Like since in, I was in the womb? When I was oh, no, your first piercing, when was it? I got my piercing when I was 17 years old. Your first one? My first piercing, my tongue. Okay, what about you? I got these first ones when I was born. Or not when I was born, but like hey. about, you know? Oh, you got Lana, so I can't tell you. I'm so confused. I'm looking around and everyone seems legit and Emilio just was not really saying anything. Dominique, her name didn't seem like Latino. We have counted up all the votes <coughs> and it is a tie. Mm. Our first tie. The tie is between 
Dominique. Yeah. <laughs> and Elise. Woo! Okay. We'll give you each 30 seconds to state your case. I don't know what to say. Okay, I am from Argentina. Hablo castellano. Me siento muy argentino. I don't know, like, I have, like, all the stereotype things. She says she speaks Castilian Spanish. Castile's a place in Spain. Immediately, I'm just, like, suspicious. Suspicious. Of, like, living in a country. I had, like, little mark of the vaccine. I got my ears pierced when I was born. I don't know. The dollar's going crazy over there now. <laughs> the the no, Millet's sure. down there doing things. Hopefully good things. <laughs> I'm not, like, a dancer. That doesn't mean I'm not Latina. <laughs> <laughs> Eu já falei para ela. Um, so, like, the thing, like, the scar, I think anybody can have that. I think if you vote for me, it's because you don't know enough about Brazil. And I'm Ooh. not going to pick. I don't know what y'all want me to do. <laughs> I think that's it for me. Who's oh, the I just want y'all to know the mole is still here because my best friend is Serbian and she has that scar. Just letting you know. So. I'm all still here. Okay, so more than just the scar. I mean, it's just annoying. It, it is just like a confirmation of what I hear every day, but, you know, congrats to the mole for making it this far, I suppose. If everyone feels confident that you have already caught the mole, you can end the game now. But if the majority has doubt, the game will continue. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. You gotta keep playing the game. I wanna continue. Good. Same. How many accents can you do? <laughs> a little bit of a Spanish one, like Spain Spanish, like puedo hacer un poquito de no sé. I knew she was Latina. I swear, when I swear, when they, whenever Spaniards speak Spanish, it always throws me off because they have that weird, like, they have that like weird, like, it sounds like they have cotton in their mouth, or they have a, a lisp, and I'm just like, I'm like, why? I'm like, you guys invented the language. Why are you putting a lisp on it? And she said, hear my accent. I'm, I'm Argentina. Listen to my accent. How many accent can you do? Just Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to talk like this and I used to say chew and yeah. like that's how you should talk and then I kind of lost it over my years. How often do you guys visit your home country? <clears throat> every summer because I, I, I have to work during the summers in my college so I go every summer for two weeks because that's the break that I get. What's your year four. in school? It's from March to December. That's how we do it in Brazil too. Our yeah. summer break is... Yeah, I guess it's like Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, how it is in Panama too. Okay, what's a fun fact about your country? I'll go first. Um, <laughs> sorry, I, like I just really want to say it. Um, reggaeton was made in Panama and it got popularized in Puerto Rico. So okay, I just want to put that out. That's a fact. I go just want to put that out there. Right. Wait, can I think? Right. We've been pressuring you. <laughs> well, I don't want to give you too much time either. No, no, so go no. ahead, go ahead. No, 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 please, like, go, go, go. go. No, 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 but no. I don't know. Oh my God. No, 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 no. We're the whole Amazon forest burning no. and they put we're pictures somewhere, of elephants. Y'all. We don't have elephants. Mm -hmm. We're somewhere, y'all. No, we're not. I just cannot We're somewhere, y'all. Okay. Oh, fun fact. Rubber was invented in Mexico. That's what I said. About 3,500 years ago. Name four places. Okay, interesting. Barcelona. Oh, in Perez de Argentina. In Argentina. Córdoba, Salta, Neuquén, Buenos Aires, Santa Fe, Tierra del Fuego, Mendoza. Brazil. Brazil. Okay, status, states in Brazil. Where do you live? Where do you live? I'm from Espírito Santo, Vitória, an island in Brazil. So there's Minas Gerais, São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Mato Grosso do Sul, Bahia, Salvador. Quem me pode dizer? Is that real? What about where? Like, bro, this is a geography test now. That's how we say Rio de Janeiro. Where's Minas Gerais? Nagua, Moca, San Francisco, Macorís. President of your country currently. All right. What? President of your country. Uh, it's either Polito Mejia, Leonel Fernandez. My father works for the president, so. But you don't oh, know. Okay. Who wait, wait. It's either Polito Mejia, Leonel Fernandez. Like, hold on, wait. Like, if your dad works for the president, don't you? What? What did you want to know? Like, if who your president is? Like, like if my dad was working for Biden or Trump, I'd be like, oh yeah, they work. Like, yeah, I would know off the top of my head. Like, oh that they're working for the president. That's the fucking president. Like, you would think you would know. Like, if your dad is working under the president. And my father works for the president, so. But you don't oh, know. No, the, the main but president. He, he he retired. That's my dad. I think you the mom. I'm not the mom. <laughs> I don't nothing know. I can't the only do. thing is between y'all two. The only thing that is throwing me off is like you're wearing a Brazilian shirt. So exactly. Like, okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And it's funny because I actually like I was telling my sister I was like they're gonna think sure, I'm the mom because it's I'm wearing a okay. Brazilian shirt. I was gonna wear a shirt like that. Too. I wanted to represent my country and like I think I feel like we should ask him a couple more questions. Yeah, you know. I think that's a stereotype that like Mexicans are loud, but like I'm just like an no. Wait, but you guys speak Spanish. I don't know anything about Spanish-speaking countries, so you guys would have to prove it. 
mi papá es de la Ciudad de México, de Iztapalapa, mi mamá es de Guadalajara. I believe him. Okay. okay yeah, he the, way, the way he said Guadalajara, I was like, yeah, that, that's the real accent right there. You said you were an Osavo kid at the beginning of this game. I'm not an Osavo kid. Okay. What's your last name? My last name is Kovac. Do we all have a long name? Do we all have a long name? What's your last name? Carvarela. Mine is Jones, but my... but my. Do we all have really long names? No. Yes. I mean, it's Dominic. Yes. 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 Out of everyone that was there, I had the most. It's okay. Good luck. <laughs> Yo, look at her face, bro. She looks mad. She looks mad. Out of. Like, look, she looks pissed. For everyone that was there, I had the most non Spanish name. My name is French, and I could tell that people were like Dominique. Hmm. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means that the mole is still in the box and you lose. Oh, I'm so mad if you're the mole. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. In three, two, one. Is it green? Is it green? Yeah! Okay, that's it. Go! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, and then you come from here. I was like, and then she danced with me. What if I dance with the mole? <laughs> I dance with the mole. <laughs> Will the person who is not Latino please step forward and reveal it, yourself? And it's either Elise or her. It ain't, it ain't Eduardo. It ain't, it ain't my man Eduardo. It ain't my man Eduardo. Three, two, one. Woo! I knew it. I knew it. I'm so sorry. I knew it. I'm from you Tennessee, brought me down y'all. with you. Oh, yeah, no. My name is Elise De Vega. I'm from Tennessee originally, and my hobby, my passion, my driving force in life is of just languages. She's, she's I'm from Tennessee. On my YouTube channel, I talk about my experience learning languages. I show speaking my languages. I think that's cool that she's learning so many languages. Oh, she even has a Elise speak. She has a whole wow, hundred thousand subscribers too. Wow, she has a whole language stuff in here. And yeah, I give people tips on how to do the same. I speak Spanish, Portuguese, French, German, Turkish, American Sign Language. Hola. Hola. Bonjour. Okay. Hello. Merhaba. Salam. I've been learning languages since I was a kid. It's just been like a freak hobby of mine. Uh, I actually learned Spanish first. And like I said, it's actually way better than my Portuguese. I feel like y'all would have voted me out quicker as, you know, if I was saying I was Mexican or something like that. De hecho, hablo el, el acento mexicano. You know what it was? Honestly? That would have convinced that convinced. Yeah, that would have convinced you. Yeah, she she, she should have gone with the Spanish language instead of the Portuguese one. A uh, shout out Kian, who was living in Brazil and gave me a lot of this inside information as an American living in Brazil. Couldn't have done it without you. I did already have like a lot of this knowledge just from speaking with Brazilians, having Brazilian friends, but there was definitely just some cultural knowledge that I had to brush up on. My strategy awesome. going into this obviously was to wear flip flops because that's quintessential, like Brazilians wear flip flops every day. Also, I wanted to vote out Paulina immediately because she's the real Brazilian who can actually plant doubts about me because she knows. And then when she said you guys voted the wrong person, that's when I knew you weren't Brazilian. Question, why did you guys vote Eduardo out first? I feel so bad. They kind of sounded like a history. Exactly. 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 I was like, bro, my man, he's got the he's got the freaking latch key. Like he has the latch key, bro. He's got the construction bills, bro. I was like, this man, this man is not. This man is Latino. He he is not a faker. <laughs> it was it wasn't even the way he said his name. It was the latch key. The like having that on his belt. I was like, this man's a construction worker. I know my man is is is, is a real Latino. Question, why did you guys vote Eduardo out first? I feel so I bad. Couldn't he, say his own name. he couldn't say his own name. I believed you. We just started asking his history you said question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You should know a little bit about your history. Yeah. And that's something I've been involved with so I can pass it down to my kids so they know who I am and where I come from. And I cannot roll my R's. I'm sorry, it's a you speech can. impediment. Just, yeah. <laughs> uh, Being Panamanian is so rare nowadays. Being able to come on this platform and talk about my culture is super Cool. I decided to keep the hat on just to like to play the game a little bit. For me, it's more of a cultural thing to honor my 
indigenous ancestry. I have an eagle on my head, a wind spirit, a hecat over here, and I have uh, Miklantecutli or Mikisli. But yeah, I just didn't want it to be obvious. A lot of people, they talk or treat me a certain way, or I have to switch to speak Spanish to make someone else comfortable right. because of my hair or my skin complexion. Being Dominican, you can't deny your Latinidad, it comes out. It's just, yeah. I can't hide it. It's money, come on, come on, come on! Come <laughs> I just knew, I just, I just, I, I had that doubts of her because she was wearing the shirt, but I just knew that this man was Mexican and I knew those two girls were Afro-Latinas. I was like, they're, they are not faking it. That's how I'm. But I knew she was Dominican. I was like, that this woman is totally Dominican. I've never seen this. Come on, come on, Latino, Latino, Latino. <laughs> Latino, Latino, Latino. Yeah, that's good. And for me too, raining on me too. <laughs> yeah, I think so you're not a girl. Okay, your turn, your turn.